Hi everyone, I hope you're well. In this video I'll be sharing an easy DIY tutorial on how I have upcycled my collection of coffee jars. We drink a lot of coffee and over time I've accumulated a lot of jars that I just didn't know what to do with anymore. I was using these glass jars in the food cupboard to store dry foods but I just didn't like how they looked with the red lid and the labels so I came up with my own DIY on how to make them look all nice and rustic. I hope you enjoy this video and it gives you some inspiration. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's get started okay so the first thing that I'm doing is going to be attempting to remove the annoying sticker that literally refuses to come off so I figured out the best way to do this and all you really have to do is hold your jars under a running tap of hot water and just peel away the sticker for as long as possible until all of it comes off. Obviously for the purpose of this video I'm using a bowl but it's really a lot easier if you just do it in a sink. So once you have a jar without all of the stickers, I'm sure you'll notice that you'll still have some of the sticky residue left behind from the sticker. It's actually really easy to remove that as well. All you have to do is just use a sponge with an abrasive side and you can use some washing up liquid or as I'm using here, some of the pink stuff. You just need a small amount and rub that with the sponge for a few seconds and you will get rid of all of that residue. Once you're done doing that, go ahead and rinse off all of the product from the jars under a tap of cold water this time and then use a towel to just dry off all the excess from the jar. In this DIY you'll just need pretty much one product and that is some brown craft paper. You can get this from most superstores where you buy your groceries. Um, I just bought some from Amazon online. So all I'm doing here is drawing a big circle around the lid and I'm just going to cut along and make one big circle. The next step is to draw some rough lines going inwards and we're just going to cut along those with a pair of scissors. And lastly, all I'm doing is tucking in those tabs into the jar's lid and trying to be as firm as possible when I'm folding them down like that. You can go ahead and just kind of play around until it fits right. There's no right way or wrong way to do this really. Um, and also another thing that I wanted to mention is I'm not actually using any glue to secure this paper because what I find is as I'm using the jars going forward, it, the, the paper never comes loose, it never comes away from the lid. So that step is optional if you want to go ahead and use some, some sort of glue to secure the paper, that's entirely up to you, but I won't be doing that. And then that's it, you can just pop those onto the jar and move on to labelling them. Now here you have two options, I will be using my Dymo label maker. You can use any label maker that you own or you can use a sticker or you can just use a permanent marker to write on top of the paper on the lid whatever is in the contents of the jar. I personally just can't get enough of how epic these labels look and if I if I was allowed I generally would have labeled every single thing in our apartment by now but unfortunately I'm a grown adult and I can't be going around doing that so I'll just stick to labeling some glass jars for now And then once your jars are labelled, you can go ahead and fill them up with dry food. I typically use my jars for rice and storing lentils, sugar, pasta, biscuits, all sorts of random things. 
You can also apply this DIY to smaller glass jars as well, for example the ones you might get jam in, so you're not limited to just coffee jars. And that's it, it's such a simple DIY using some craft paper and labels. The jars look rustic and minimalist once stored away in the kitchen cupboards. I hope you enjoyed this DIY tutorial, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of my content. Until next time, take care, bye!